Hey y'all, my name is Slade, and in this tutorial we'll be going over how to publish and subscribe using PubNub on Android. After this quick and easy tutorial, you'll be able to build some of the amazing functionality you see on the most popular apps, like the live location of a courier or streaming fitness data from a smartwatch. Publishing and subscribing requires us to leverage PubNub's data streaming network. As with any data being sent over the internet, we'll need our Android device to be connected to the internet, which will allow us to publish and subscribe to messages. Messages can be a JSON object, a string like someone's name, or even a number. It could be someone's age as well. But keep in mind that messages have to be less than 32 kilobytes. Great. Now we can head over to Android Studio and create a new project. Name your project appropriately and click the Kotlin checkbox, as we'll be using Kotlin in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be aiming for Android, Lollipop, and above. But feel free to choose your own target version. Now we can continue the rest of the setup as usual. We have a couple prerequisites for any Android application that uses PubNub. The first being the ability to connect to the internet. We can allow our application to connect to the internet by going to the Android manifest and adding the internet access permission. The next requirement for our application will be to add the PubNub dependency to the app level Gradle file. By adding the PubNub dependency, we're telling our Android application that for our app to work, we'll need the PubNub package. The PubNub package will give us the necessary functionality to connect, deliver, and control with PubNub's data streaming network. Now we can look at the front end of our application, which is located in activity underscore main.xml. To make things simple, we're going to be adding only two components to our UI, the first being a text view to show messages from the channel we subscribe to, and the second being an edit text which will let our users publish messages to our channel. In the main activity file, we're going to have our publish and subscribe code. First, we hook the front-end components from earlier to the main activity. Then, we initialize the PubNub object with our pub and sub keys, which we can get from the admin dashboard. If you haven't already, click the link on the screen to get your keys now. Next, we're subscribing to the whiteboard channel for any new messages. Overriding the parent class's message function allows us to take the new messages coming in and set them to the text view we made earlier. Finally, we listen for the enter key press, and once that happens, we publish our message to our channel. Now, if we run our app in our emulator, we can see that if we publish our messages, our device receives it from the subscribe channel and displays the message. Simultaneously subscribed devices around the world will see the other users' publishes in their app real time. That's all we need to do to have a fully functioning Android app with the ability to publish and subscribe. With this tutorial, now you're able to use PubNub to stream data to as many devices as you wish, but no difference in latency or service. Register at PubNub now to get your 1 million free messages per month. Thanks for watching.